master. Girl, you ain't the puppet master no more according to what these folks doing to these strings you got attached to you. What's going on, y'all? It's time for another King of Reeves TV video. I don't know what the title is for this video, but y'all already know I'm going to be talking about all the topics that happened this week, all the things that hit, social media, every little thing, honey. Y'all already know that YouTube is full of crap, so I cannot do the titles of everything specifically, so we're doing some new stuff. You might get a generic little um, thing, but you already know. If you see me looking over to the left, oops, there goes those reeds coming out of my mouth. You already know what time it is, so let's get into the tea this week. I cannot believe I just said tea. Let's talk about Nene Lee's getting escaped. <laughs> Dude, Josh, she got escaped to Athens, okay? They have fired her. You borrow clothes in your boss's name. Nene Leaks, y'all know last weekend, and you can check out the full blog post on kingareese.com. You all know Nene Leaks is on her somewhat comedy tour, so Nene, you know, was dealing with a heckler at um, one of her shows, I think it was in Oakland, California. I'm not sure what the video, um, what you know, what was said in the video or whatever, because you couldn't hear it, but the heckler was kind of, you know, wasn't interested in Nene Leakes' jokes, apparently. And um, Nene Leakes just started going off, and she said, you know what, I hope that you get, you know, raped on your way to your Uber, in your Uber car by your Uber driver. Nene Leakes said that, and I was just like, this is not comedy, this is not what a comedian does. There's a blog post on kingofreeze.com talking about how Sinbad, you know, dealt with with hecklers or whatever, and it was like, you need either be a comedian or go home, and that's exactly what Nene needs to hear. Nene is not a comedian. She doesn't understand how to do it. You know, everybody can sit up here and tell jokes. Everybody can do that. I can do that. Um, you can probably do it. Everybody got jokes every once in a while, but it's a true art form to get in front of people, tell jokes, deal with the booze, deal with, you know, I don't think that's funny, and be able to react to it and make people, like, that's like some stuff that you learn to perfect over time. And, you know, Nene Lee things just because she wears the yellow mustard wig and that she's loud as hell and that she can make a couple of folks laugh on Real Housewives of Atlanta and edit the clips that, you know, she's funny and she, come to find out she's funny but she doesn't know how to do, you know, she doesn't know how to deal with the, uh, when people are, I ain't laughing at her, so she said that and I was waiting for, you know, Candy to respond I'm like, Candy, last season of Housewives you dealt with Portia and the rape allegations and you know, that you know, you were pressed about that, you were mad you know, we got the infamous gift about the lies, the lies, the lies. So I was like, is Candy going to have Nene Leaks um, on her stuff? Like, is they going? Is that going to happen? And come to find out, you know, they start removing her from the flyer. They start removing um, Nene from the flyer, and then. Um, Escape came out and gave a full little post and just said, girl, you know, we love our friend, but she's dealing with some stuff right now. We cannot, you know, be attached to that. And I was listening to KAT Radio. Y'all listen to it. My girl Char is on there. Kendall, Jace, I love them. The three of them, I listen to their podcast every week. They drop a new one every Friday. I love them. Intelligent people having good discussions about good topics and even, um, you know, problematic topics that need to be discussed. But check them out on Cat Radio. That's KAT Radio. Radio, um, key is in kilo, A is in alpha, T is in tango. Come on, y'all don't know nothing about them, uh, those armored torms. Well, Shaw said that she expected the skate tour to, you know, go up in flames. And child, we already seen the beginning stages of that. Like, the beginning stages of it is already happening. Like, like, you got Nene in this situation. Not saying that Escape together might. I'm not sure if Escape will kind of like, you know, fall apart. But, like, I, like that's a lot of personalities to put in one place and stuff. And there's a lot going on. Y'all see what happened when they performed at the BET Awards. And what's when they start walking in front of them. And uh, Candace's like, girl, what's she doing? She ain't supposed to do that. She don't do that. And, and she did it. And then Candace started, you know, singing in vibrato or whatever. Girl, that's a mess. Uh, I'm glad they got rid of Nene. Nene, you got to get it together. That was not a right. That was Nene. You got to get it together. That was not, you know, a good response to some, you know, dealing with a heckler. That's just not how you do it. And then, you know, I got a chance to see you on live, um, you know, Instagram live yesterday, and you was just like you scared to talk in a confessional because you're not, you're not sure what, you know, you can't say, you can't say. What you can start by saying is not hoping that a woman um, it gets raped and about her Uber drive. That's what you can say. I don't know why we continue to think that. That someone is we're sensitive and you can't say stuff. No, you can't say stupid shit. Like, you see how I'm talking and I'm not saying anything problematic yet, okay? And even if I find out something I said was problematic, I'm going to clean it up. I'm going to say, hey, I learned that. You know, let me see what the issue is. Let me fix that. I just got to watching one of my old videos and I was like, oh my gosh. 
Like I was problematic as hell. Like, oh my gosh, like this is you just grow some things that you do, you know, in your twenties, you ain't gonna do you didn't do when you were like twelve. Like you learn from you growing. It's just the experience of life. So Nene, that was trash. I, but you know what? I'm not surprised because you you like some of the things that you do, I'm just not I said Nene thinks that she can say and do whatever and just for shock value and make people laugh. And she gonna find out the hard way. And she did. So girl, you better find out where the puppet master is so you can find some more jobs. While we're on the conversation of right this is so important. Like, there's a lot of things going on with Harvey Weinstein, um, Harvey Weinstein, did I say his name right? And then you also have Nelly was accused of it. Like, I know this is a controversial topic, but I think we need to understand that um, when women come out and say that, hey, this person, you know, um, you know, sexually assaulted me or did this and that, it needs to be a conversation. We need to talk about it. We need to figure it out. Like, I take every um, accusation seriously. Like, it needs to be investigated. We need to pay attention. We need to listen to these women. And when people say things like what T.I. said on his Instagram video, he said, what do we do when these, we find out these bitches lying? Like, what's the repercussions for that? I don't think he did that in the right way. They made me want to smack the shit out of him for saying that. But um, you, you just... Uh, Tia, that was like it was just so trash. Like less than 10% of rape accusations are false. Like 10%. Like there are a lot of women who have said and and and, said, and it's truthful. And there's a lot of women who do not, you know, um, come out because their fear of being, you know, not like people not believing them. So we cannot, we cannot allow that to be the um, what's the name of the situation. We cannot allow that. We have so many women have dealt with that. And we know women are dealing with it because I just got through looking on Twitter when a woman said she was, you know, working out at a gym and a man came and started, you know, working out right next to her. So she left and then he left and then she went back to her thing. Women deal with like unwanted attention by men all the time. Like, and it just doesn't mean like the woman saying, hey, you know, they're not being stuck up. It's just like, hey, I want you to see me as a person first. Like, oh my gosh, like me, let me live. Like, there's nothing wrong. Well, you know, probably flirting or being, you know, nice to somebody, but sometimes I want like respect some of these women and men don't do that. Nine times out of ten in a lot of cases, men see women as property. Like me and Adrian have discussed this so many times on For the Culture Podcast. Make sure you're checking out. And like that's why you have situations like that. Um so Harvey Wein Winston Weinstein, I hate saying his name because he irritated me already. Um, there's been reports uh, women have came out and said yes he you know he's he said this to me he's done this to me uh, when I was you know um, a um, up-and-coming actress he did this and then it was an audio of a woman um, you know talking to him and she was he was trying to put her in the bathroom and she was saying no I don't and she was talking about he are you gonna touch my breast again like it's all in the news it's all in the news and this man he is on that scale like he like he is Hollywood it's kind of complicated because you know, like these folks did not want to put their career on the line it's like I don't know if these people believe me and if I come out and I say hey this man touched me Harvey did this to me what if people don't believe me and, and I said I came out and now that I'm blackballed from the industry like people are not checking for me no more so you know it's it's, it's complicated like this man was able to do this and get away with it and it's like it's just it's it's it goes to show you a lot about rape culture and you know, last weekend Nelly was um, accused of um, sexual assault on a woman on a, on his tour bus. Um, Y'all know Nelly is in a full relationship um, with Floyd Mayweather's ex, um, so really he should not have had another woman on the bus anyway. But he did, and you know, woman accused him of rape, and she felt like he's been he's intimidating her. A lot of people came out on social media and said that there's no way that Nelly did that. And they did that basically on the premise of um, Nelly being attractive, or a lot of people seeing him as attractive, like he's not capable of that type of stuff. And my thing, like, my thing with that is you cannot assume that just because someone is attractive that they're not capable. You cannot. That's like power. It's like you are already like dismissing this woman coming out saying this just because of Nelly being attractive. Like you don't even know what this woman looks like. We've not yet seen this woman um, that's accused Nelly, but we automatically assume, well, Nelly ain't got to do that, but rape is power. And a lot of time um, that people are able to get away with it because they have privilege and power. Like 
They like that's the reason why like and I and I just didn't understand why some people were saying well that couldn't have happened Nelly ain't doing nothing like that nobody's guilty in the beginning but we need to take this situation seriously and we need to investigate and find out what's going on but I'm not going to automatically just say oh no ain't no way Nelly did that because you know he's a good stand up guy girl I don't know who you are a lot of people are different in the dark versus when they're in the light so it's just that's just what the tea is so I don't know Nelly like that I don't know him from what he lets us see and that's with anybody so you need to take accusations like this serious and to investigate it and if that woman was lying and she was doing some stuff to like try to get some attention then she needs to be reprimanded for that she needs to be to the full extent of the law she needs to be but we have to take this situation serious because there's so many women who do not report rape